morning guys, it's Ben from the Parker Brothers and yet again another fishing vlog. Now I'm here, I'm set up, I haven't done the sort of traditional intro I normally do, I'm here, I'm set up and I'm ready to go. Now I'm here at Longbridge Lake there, which is quite a small lake, um, but the, part, the plan of action is to catch some fish. As you know through the previous uh, fishing vlogs I've done, I've been fishing the harder lakes, i.e. places like Sandhurst Lakes and um, Guildford Way. Um, and, a, and a few other harder waters. Um, not that that is an excuse, but obviously they are harder and this is what you would say is a, a runs water. So if I don't catch anything here today, I'm gonna to be very disappointed. I'm here for 24 hours. Um, I'll flick it around so you get an idea of what's going on. Okay, so I'm here now. Um, as you can see over to the island there, um, ideally I want to fish this this evening, but, but, um, there's a, a guy fishing here and there's a guy fishing over here which you can't see because the tent's there but there is a guy fishing there so I don't want to be the idiot and start cussing up, ca casting over people's lines although that is my water in front of me but it's a very sort of uh, different uh, laid out lake if you like so what I've done is for now I've, fl I've flicked a rod just here to my left and I've flicked a, a rod just here to my right um, probably about two rod lengths out so fingers crossed hopefully next time you see me I'm gonna have a fish on the bank I'm here on my own today, so I can really prioritise um, putting all my efforts into catching fish. So, here we go. Right guys, so it's wet, it's cold, I'm freezing, but I've had a fish, I've lost the fish, and I've had a, I've had a bream as well, and I've probably had the rods out now two hours, two and a half hours, so good news, I'll flip the camera around. I've got him in there, I'm gonna pull him out in a minute, weigh him, and show you what I've got. So there it is, 70 and a half pound, a nice dumpy mirror. Happy days. I'll flick the rods back out straight away. Hopefully I bag another one. Brilliant. Look at that. Right, so that's what done the damage. An essential sale boily 16 mil and then a sticky bait signature pop-up. Happy days. So there's fish number two. He's a bit of a feisty one. He's beating me up here. But another 70 and a half pounder. A nice little stocky one. There she is. And that was on a nice little coconut pop up <laughs> on its own on the choddy. Happy days. So this is fish number three now. I think it just goes to show the importance of getting your rod straight back out on the spot ASAP when you've had a fish. And that's exactly what I've been doing. Hopefully, fingers crossed now, this is in a half decent one. So, well, happy with this one, guys. A beautiful, real, real beautiful uh, ghost carp. It's really, really light in colour and it's funny because I just spoke to the bailiff, he just come round and he said there's some real nice uh, ghosties in here and I've literally, he's walked around the, he's walked around the lake and uh, I'll be damned, a beautiful ghostie comes in the bank. So there it is, 15 and a half pound this one. The rod went straight back out on the spot. We're going to put this one back now and hopefully get another one. Happy days. Right, so it's been about 20 minutes now since I've had the ghostie. Uh, I've been waiting on the spot. Um, just after I cast my right hand side rod uh, on the spot where I had the fish it was weird because I put it, I put it down put it on the put it on the bite alarm clipped it up got back in sat down sat down where I am now and it's went up went up beep, 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 and then went back down again and went up again and I've hit it nothing um, so I've put that rod back out again recasted it on the same spot hopefully now I get something else but fingers crossed. Um, I've just topped out with a bit more bait as well, so I've put approximately another 50, 
50 baits out there just to keep them keep them there in theory but hopefully I can get my hands on a few more right guys so it's been a few hours since your last clip it is pitch black out here now um, really really bitterly cold it's it's late February for, for the record as well um, but yeah really 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 cold here winds getting up now I'm going to try and get some sleep I think and hopefully I get woken up by a fish um, but all the spots left on the spot I was happy wherever I positioned them and put them uh, prior to it getting dark so yeah hopefully fingers crossed I get woken up by a fish if not I'll see you in the morning I'm going to get up early potentially flick a bit more bait out or just just look just just assess I think to see what's going on see if I can see any fish or see where the fish have moved to and then cast to that um, as you know it's quite a small lake like I mentioned before so hopefully I can see that pack and then target the pack so I don't know whether that's what it was today but I had a, a few hours um, where I had sort of four fish or three fish I've had to point and I've lost one and then I had a bream as well but um, maybe that's so much to do with it hit the pack and then maybe go from there so it's just gone 10 I was just nodding off and the rod ripped off I was playing it for probably five ten minutes something like that quite a while um, playing it for a while it was, it was just lumping about I think it was a better fish just about to put the net underneath it and the, the hook came out and as I went to put my, the net underneath the fish it's, it's its head's turned and it's pulled off so I didn't land the fish so I'm a bit gutted if I'm honest but I've just done my wraps um, I'm, I'm just fishing just under 12 wraps I've just quickly done my wraps up I've flicked it straight back out on the spot I'm quite happy with where it is it clipped off the spot I've flat the lead down so hopefully fingers crossed I'll get another take but a bit gutted but hey ho fingers crossed so after clipping and hitting that spot it was obvious the fish were coming on feed it was around three o'clock in the morning things started getting exciting so there it is guys fish number four 18 pound on the dot i've got another fish in the net behind me now they're really starting to have it i'll get this one slipped back and hopefully get some more and that there guys is fish number five again another late double i would say i haven't had a chance to weigh this one and i'm probably not going to but again another beautiful fish hopefully there's many more to come number five happy days right then guys i thought i'd give you a quick update on how i'm getting on and what i'm catching the fish on so um, i've had five fish to point now biggest being about 18 pound now i've had a few of the fish on this which is just a basic trolley setup with a 16 mil white chocolate pop-up on and these are made by sticky baits now they're really really nice smelling i've actually bought some of this the spray as well that goes with it and you just spray that on the bait just before you cast and i think that gives you that extra little edge um, so that's what i've been having on one rod on the other rod i've been fishing back to the basics now so again i've been fishing something snowman style if i can get that to pick up on the camera Let's have a look. Yeah, there we go. So back to basics. So an essential cell, 16 mil uh, freezer bait, boilie, with a wafter on the signature wafters that sticky baits do again as well. Yellow. Um, I think, if I'm honest, years and years and years ago, I used to use yellow all the time, and I used to catch a lot of fish on it. And I don't know what it was, but I just kind of just fizzled out, and I never really used yellow anymore. But again, I had a lot of fish on it, so I was stupid to do so, and I've and I've put that on this this session. Not something I normally do with a yellow bait on a yellow essential cell pop up, and it's been doing the business. So thumbs up in that respect. Right then, guys. So I've actually done a bit of research, and uh, the first fish I caught was a fish called Five Scales, and it came out uh, the beginning of Feb at 18, 18 and a half pounds. So. I'm actually quite quite happy with that and what I'll do is I'm gonna put a picture up on the screen now here of the of the fish that I caught and the, the picture of the guy that actually caught the fish previous so you can get a good gauge of uh, the fish in its prime morning guys this is it I had this in the night it's now half past seven 
This is 16 and a half pound now. I actually lost one in the night as well, so that's now six fish on the bank, uh, two lost and a bream. Um, this fine, beautiful, cold February carp at Longbridge Lakes. I'm going to slip him back now, flick a little bit more bait over this spot and just see if I can push for on one, two more fish in the next couple of hours. Happy days. There it is. Right guys, I've just put that fish back um, after a mad night. Very cold night and windy night as well. Um, but also, the best night I've had of 2017, because I haven't caught any carp that. I've, had, I've done two sessions this year. Um, two or three sessions. This is my first session where I've had, where I've had fish. Um, so, thumbs up for that. So my first 2017 carp. Whoop, whoop. Happy days. Um, but what I wanted to do quickly is guys is just turn it round and show you exactly what I've been doing because I mean that is the whole point of these YouTube videos so you get an insight exactly what I've been doing now um, there's my setup there I've just pulled them off now um, but basically in front of me now I've got an island and I'm fishing off to the right of the island just to your left here we've got a point swim where you can fish um, it actually takes off probably four rod lengths to the island in regards to wrap because it's slightly closer you might be able to see that through there and again island in front of you so what I've been doing is I've been clipping up um, just under 12 wraps and I've been fishing to the three points to the three trees in front of me there um, where that duck has just turned on my bait actually so I've been fishing here you can just see my blurry finger um, so that where the three where the three trees are, I've been actually fishing one rod on one end of it, one rod on the other end of it. Um, it, it it drops back and flicks back about four foot off the bank, which I feel that there's a, a little gully that goes across there, which I've done with my marker when I first got here, um, which is just over there. Now, if I pull that back, I've been fishing. Every time I've been having a fish, I've been probably topping it up with 50 odd baits. Um, again, essential sail um, over a choddy or just a normal um, snowman setup with a hair rig. Um, again, I will, if anybody's interested in seeing that, please comment below. And what I can do is I can actually do a tutorial on how to build that that rig in depth so you guys can make that as well. But there it is, guys. Um, that's where I've been having the fish. Um, you know, anybody can come down here now and use this video to their advantage and potentially catch fish themselves doing exactly what I've done. I've not done anything where a specialist would use, you know, it's, it's stuff I've bought from the, ta from the tackle shop. I've done, come down here, put the bait out, and it's produced wonders. So there we go, guys. Hopefully, again, like I said, I've got about an hour left now, hour, two hours left. So I'm gonna sit up, I'm gonna watch the water. There's a little bit of fizzing over the spot now. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up, but I'm gonna hopefully, fingers crossed for one more fish would be beautiful. I thought it was worth pointing out guys really in this video that you're probably thinking why the hell has he got two bank sticks and then a single bank stick set up. Now there is a reason for that. Now in front of my swim I've actually got more room to play the fish. Um, I, I, I personally feel if, if 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 the rod does rip off and you're having hauls of fish, as you know, any rod can go at one at one point in time. So you can you can move them from from pod to pod if you like. And then also, like I say, what I've got is at the back here, which I find is essential for me, is is another rod ready to go with a bait on it. So the second I do get a fish, and it's already clipped up as well, the second I do get a fish, I can flick it straight back on the spot, like I mentioned earlier, and hopefully produce another fish straight away. Quick update then guys, I've packed up everything behind me now, I've still got the rods out, I've got about an hour left now, but I will update you just before I go, hopefully, fingers crossed, I catch a fish. Right, so that's it guys, that's me done, I'm packed up, that was my 24 hours here at Longbridge Lakes. Three things that I can take away from me from this session that I've learned. I think the first thing would be positioning my tent properly. Now I had my tent opening with the wind facing in and it was hacking my bivvy. Stupid mistake. I won't be making that again. I'm just going to turn the bivvy round away from the, w away from the wind next time. 
Uh, number two, going back to basics with pop-ups, etc. Going back to using small yellow conventional pop-ups. They do well, they've always caught fish, and they're still catching fish, so I'm gonna continue doing that. And the third thing, and I think that's the most important thing, is getting the rod straight back out in the spot. Now, I've done that every single fish I had here, and it produced a fish after the fish I had. So it worked effectively, and it worked well. So I'm gonna continue doing that. Now, as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you've liked what you, you've watched and you do like the videos you see on our channel, etc., etc., make sure you subscribe down below. Give us a thumb up, give us a comment, let, let us know what you think about these videos, and also turn your notifications on, guys. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed my 24 hours here at Longbridge Lakes. Take care, guys. Enjoy.